Okay, what is up guys, Real Game Modders here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to patch XGD3 media. Uh, if you have uh, the new patch is Light Touch Plus 3.0, I will be putting up a new video after this video about three of the advantages are and why you should switch to it. Okay, so what we want to do to patch uh, any XGD3 media, what you want to do is open up Xbox Backup Crea which is there, I've already got it open so I'm just going to close that which is right here, go to image tools and make sure on actions click inject yeah got to have inject and then go to AV 2.5 sector click that. ok now you've got to find an XGD3 game so I'm going to do so we got Modern Warfare 3 do that and that's for a .bin file which is the thing you can use to patch it with so uh, all these files will be in the description, so patching XGD3 media, patching, and you want to go for this one, XGD3, do this one, duck that, there you go, Operation complete, um, that's all done, and that's, it, that's how you patch it, so once you've done that, you would get rid of that, open the garbage burn, and uh, yeah, just burn it as you normally would, if you if you are going to burn a game, I would recommend getting an iHaz burner. I'll put a link in the description where you can get it for a good price. Um, maybe Newegg or Amazon or something like that. You could probably get it off one of those sites for a good price. Um, basically, if you want a hundred percent burn, I'll definitely go for an iHaz burner. Uh, that's it. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and thumbs up the video. Tell your friends. If you've got any questions at all, just please. Uh, send me a message and uh, re oh yeah remember the giveaway that I'm doing don't forget that so uh, if you want to be in chance of winning go on the previous video which I'll put a link in the description for as well so you can um, try beat it alright bye